Scott Sager with you again, folks. Thanks for joining us here on RTC TV4. Today we have a new format on our Fulton County Chamber Chat, and I want to welcome Amy Rowe, the Executive Director of the Chamber Chat. Welcome, hey, Amy. How are you? So we're going to be bringing in someone from a chamber member every month uh, to business spotlight on them and talk about their business. This month, who's our guest, Amy? So we have uh, this month Mike Anderson, and uh, the representative for that is Chris Wood, who happens to also be the board president. So okay. um, we're excited to be able to have this new format and this new opportunity to provide another benefit. Excellent, excellent. Welcome, Chris Woods. Thank you. Chris I Wood. It, no S on the end. <laughs> Chris Wood. Well, you were a dapper, sir. Now, you've been uh, you've been running Mike Anderson for a few years here, correct? It's, it's been a little over three years. Three Scott. years now. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Well, we enjoyed uh, filming your son, Corbin. Um, he did a great job last year with football. Did he enjoy the heck out of that? He did. Yeah, he did. Is he going on anywhere? Um, I think his his plan is to go down to Lafayette and get into a uh, Ivy Tech, okay. and then possibly go on to Purdue. Okay, very good for him. So. Very good. Well, we're here today uh, talk about the chamber, all the great things the chamber's doing in the community, how it's helping your business, and then we want to talk about Mike Anderson as they're the business spotlight of the month. So, let's kind of jump in with Amy. Let's talk about it's the month of May. Mm -hmm. We know summer really gets thick for the chamber and uh, every asset or facet of what you guys have going on. So what's coming up in May? What's coming up in June? Yeah, so we are we always hit the ground running every day. <laughs> well, I say we put the heels back on, walk down those stairs, and we just hit the ground running. Yes, so um, very grateful to have a wonderful board meeting yesterday. Okay. Uh, looking forward to some really great projects. We put some behind us. We had a, a really wonderful gala with yes. a huge attendance, some yes. excellent um, opportunities for connections. Yeah. We had a successful legislative breakfast series. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorites. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to politics. I love it. I think it's great. <laughs> it's fascinating how the world works. So, so grateful to um, be able to provide an opportunity to yeah. connect with those guys and um, bring them to the community for a, a benefit to our um, community. And then had the first women in business with yes. uh, the Lieutenant Governor. And we were speaking earlier about Plymouth. She um, actually started with us and then ended in Plymouth. Okay. And then she ate at Opie's. Okay. The so, deli right downtown Plymouth. Yeah, so we were just speaking about that. I okay. thought that was funny. But um, I didn't know this, but she loves uh, bohemian clothing and craft beer. Okay. And I think to myself, the lieutenant governor of the state of Indiana, but that is the coolest thing. She was one of the... Um, the neatest women that I've met. Excellent. So that was a, a wonderful kickoff to our uh, Women in Business series. Oh, that's great. And so we're excited the, to kick that off again and to have had such a, a unique and authentic woman mm -hmm. um, who really is very unassuming as well, mm -hmm. but yet she has such great power. Mm -hmm. So very excited well, about that. That's excellent. And you can't find a better example of a woman succeeding in business and politics than the lieutenant governor of the state of Indiana. Yeah, and because of our first um, our first tenant for that, we have uh, three pillars for yeah. the women in business. It's partner, inspire, and empower. So you have to partner with someone to get close enough to inspire them, okay. to empower them to be the best they can be. So uh, partnering, obviously, she has to partner with a very large amount of people. Sure. So usually a lieutenant governor is a choice for that specific um, event. And then um, the Inspire, we're going to have, um, coming in August, uh, Mayor Milo. Do you remember Mayor Milo yes. that came? Yes, Laporte? Yes. Okay. So she's coming back to speak with us again. Excellent. Um, but now she's the secretary of, I think I always get the title wrong, but I think it's Workforce and Talent Connection. Okay. Um, so she is right under the governor. Nice. And so she went from uh, Laporte to Indianapolis. Fantastic. So, I mean, speak about inspiration. Yeah. Um, it's really neat. I think sometimes you're equally inspired and scared to death mm -hmm. by these things because you think, oh my gosh, how in the world at 28 was this woman able to become mayor? Mm -hmm. And now, you know, I think she's 34. She is sitting at the state house making decisions. But she's excellent. Uh, she's a woman of integrity, a uh, hard worker. She's very creative in her thinking process. She works as hard as us. Mm -hmm. I know that. She's up till 4 o'clock in the morning sometimes as well, Scott. So Amy and I commiserate about how hard the two of us work to, to, to pull off what we do that's every okay. day. We have so. trivia, so we can do yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're good. So we're excited about that for August. Um, but the biggest thing, besides all the nerd stuff that we're working on, mm -hmm. the um, strategic planning, which mm -hmm. we'll talk about that in a second, but the really neat thing that we're so excited about is our uh, Living Local Fest. Yes, 
We're so blessed to it's be coming able up in to, June. It is mm -hmm. June thirtieth. So it's been quite fascinating to maneuver through all of the different pieces mm -hmm. to figure out where it's going to be, mm -hmm. so that we can be respectful to all of our partners. Right. There's some things happening up on the courthouse square. And things some that are really yes. important. Things yes. that are essential. Mm -hmm. If we didn't have those, then we wouldn't be moving forward um, and progressing and making everything more beautiful. So we understand that, and um, we've been working collaboratively with the county and the city to try to figure out what makes the most sense. Yep. So. I think as of two days ago, we finalized a decision. It's at Amy's house. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Mom, just so you know, <laughs> be prepared. Um, <clears throat> no, we're going to, we get to keep, for the most part, the integrity of the event. Okay. It's still downtown Rochester. Okay. It will not be around the courthouse square, which is fine. Okay. Meaning on the grass. Right. But it will still be on East 8th Street. Okay. So you'll still have... Right in front of WROI and the Sentinel yes, and everybody sir. over there. So okay. my mother is involved. She, <laughs> she and um, my friend Bryce Hardesty have both been... Um, working very hard to get yeah. vendors, craft vendors and yep. food vendors. The whole point of Living Local, Scott, is the celebration of all things Fulton County. Mm -hmm. So that's why we look for local food yeah. vendors, sure. restaurants. Sure. Um, not that we don't love the um, the food trucks. Those will be back in October when we sure. do the chili cook-off. Um, but we want to give people the opportunity to go downtown Rochester mm -hmm. and maybe sample for a dollar. Yeah. Uh, something from Evergreen. Maybe trying to do a taste. Yeah. Of some so food. they may never, they may not feel comfortable yeah. going into the Evergreen, but they would be, feel, they would feel more comfortable going downtown Rochester sure. for a dollar or five dollars yeah. and trying something. And yeah. then our hope is they'll fall in love with one of the restaurants that they've that. never tried before, and then go in and be a, a patron of that restaurant. It's, it's so. synergistic. I love how all that dovetails together. And in Bloomington, while I was in the restaurant business for many years, um, I had hair before the restaurant business. I'll tell you <laughs> that. Uh, tip your waitresses, I'll tell you that much. But um, in all seriousness, we did a taste of Bloomington every year, and it was a lot of work to put that on. But we, we saw people in the weeks and months that followed in the restaurant that we had seen out there serving samples. And that's the whole point, yeah. right? It's translating yeah. them into wanting to fall in, fall in love with Fulton County. And so it's going to be a really neat opportunity um, we've got that. We've got some local local craft vendors um, that are coming out of the woodwork that I've never even heard of Wonderful. that are dropping off um, applications to the chamber. Um, we've hopefully will have um, bouncy houses. I know we've got snow cones. Nice. Um, we will be having a stampede string band, string band nice. that played at the Wild Rose Wild, Wild Rose Moon yes, up in Plymouth where we where just I were this met week. Them, and they are the coolest people ever. <laughs> just like some bluegrass, just yeah. cool dudes. Yeah, I've seen them um, and they are great. They're um, great. They were there last year. They were, were they there not? last year. And they so did a great job. Yep, they'll be back. Um, and then some demonstrations and then our beloved parade. Yes. Talk to me about the parade. <laughs> Parade's on um, the par Saturday? Yep. So 11 o'clock in the morning. Yep. So okay. the event will start at 10, okay. the festival. Uh -huh. um, and then at 11, the parade will commence with hopefully <laughs> last year, the Samaritan, um, we were we were joking about this. Uh, I think it was Wednesday at our parade meeting. The Samaritan's supposed to fly over. Uh -huh. Well, we get a call at the last minute that the Samaritan's not able to fly over because they have to go somewhere. Yes. So then Matt Strader, who mm -hmm. is precious, calls the Mentone Flying Club. They have their breakfast. Can somebody fly over? So here's this little putt, 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 like this little plane that flies over. It's supposed to be this massive, like, you know, right. big thing, but it's like this cute little plane that's flying over. That's and, and Tom Bear says, I guess that's the start of the parade, he says. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it work. It wasn't as, Dang. like, powerful as normal, but it improvised. you got to be able to Creativity. roll with this stuff. Creativity. This is real life. Nothing goes according to Amen, plan. Amen, right? brother. So, but we're <laughs> we're glad to be able to have the opportunity um, last year, as we put our budget together, uh -huh. to um, provide the opportunity to do this at no cost. Great. So the parade will be at no cost. Wow. Um, that was something that the board worked really hard with myself to make sure we could absorb those costs. So entrants get to come in free of charge. They still have to put the application okay. in because we still have to make sure that Great. for our, our liability insurance, everything's covered. That's huge. A um, lot of people use these parades for <coughs> fundraisers. And, mm -hmm. and you, you know, there's that fine line, folks. If you charge for it, you're going to have less entries. Mm -hmm. If you don't charge for it, you're not, you know, there's a cost you have to absorb. We still have to figure absorb, out how to cover so the cost, so we absorb the cost there. Wow, and, that's impressive. Um, because we want to make sure that the parade is something that's mm -hmm. a true celebration. I love it. 
we're attempting to build new memories. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. old memories have have um, been laid to rest, and sure. they'll always be great memories. Sure. Um, but we it's time to, to make new ones. We need to for yeah. the next generation. We need, like myself, who remembered going down for Round Barn Festival. Oh, sure. I want these kids to say, "Oh, I went downtown yeah. for the Living Local Fest." Yeah. And I'm gonna cry. I'm so. Oh no! It's, it's great. so funny when I, I like that. I say the parade is the one thing that's the most work that I always complain about, but I always cry when I talk about that yeah. because to me, it's not about a parade. Yeah. And really, parades have nothing to do with economic development. Right. But what it does have to do, it has with the kids. Yeah. It's providing them a, a, something to celebrate, yeah. something to be excited yeah. about. And every, every, if you come, don't ever catch me, but I will sit, I'll, you'll have tears. <laughs> and it's the only time I cry because I'm watching these kids' yeah. faces. I'm watching the parents. Yeah. I'm watching the pride. And yeah. I cannot get over it because it just, it blesses me. I think yeah. to myself, we did this. Yeah. We did this. It's we a passion for the future of Fulton County. It yes, absolutely is. Kids. And I beg to differ, by the way, about economic development. I think that culture and life and quality of life in a community has everything to do with economic development. It's huge. You've it got to have a huge. reason to come to Fulton you County, and I think yeah. we're, we're, we're providing that reason. Absolutely. And if you look where we're at right now and, and all that's been going on with the Chamber and, and Downtown Partnership and all the coalitions that have been forming and even the uh, Leadership Academy that mm-hmm. does wonderful projects every year. As I've said before, the synergy is starting to come, and we're seeing some buzz and some spark mm-hmm. happening here. And, and um, I can't commend you, Amy, and, and the community in general for all that they're doing. We are in a position now where we have great restaurants in mm-hmm. Rochester. <clears throat> mm-hmm. We've had great restaurants for years. We've got some new ones, some new blood. We've got some new... Um, I, I want to say craft type um, wines. Mm-hmm. We got beer got breweries beer. coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've got lots of great things happening in this community. And if I'm a business, you know, I have a manufacturing plant and I want to move it from Illinois to Indiana. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking at rural settings. Rochester, Indiana is starting to really creep up mm-hmm. on their lists. And that is the funniest thing. We were on a call the other day with an interested party who I met when I was in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I've always hairbrained. I'm just trying to pull them all here as much as I can. And (laughs) we were on a call. And and the one thing the gentleman said was, are there that many people downtown Rochester all the time? Because the Google... Uh, view mm-hmm. is during the chili cook-off. Yeah. Oh, that's so perfect. Every, every the streets thing, are all lined with cars. Is, it's great. That is wonderful. Everything I didn't know that. inside of me wanted to say yes, but I was yes, like, but my, but you know, I was like, oh, I can't say yes. But I'm like, but I said, I would really like to say yes mm-hmm. because that's what I see mm-hmm. for the future. But I said, oh, but it's not exactly like that. I said that's one of our events, but. You know, people, it's things like that that people don't understand that work in our advantage. They do. Because that gave him that picture paints the reason. picture right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if he would have looked, there's like two cars, he would have been like, ah, I'm not going to waste my time. Right. It was like, that was actually a reason why I accepted your call. First, you're very tenacious and mm-hmm. you wouldn't leave me alone. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and two, because I thought, well, gosh, there must be a lot going on because that picture shows a lot of cars. And that's so now great. I'm intrigued. Nice. You know, and then we were able to talk about what you just spoke about, all the great partners we have, all the great teammates, the collaborations, Mm -hmm. the hard work, everything that's happening. And uh, he said, well, I see a lot of cornfields around you. And it's fascinating that, you know, and he's looking at it not from our perspective. Right. Sitting all the way in Colorado. He knows nothing about us. Yeah, he knows nothing. Mm -hmm. But he said, it's fascinating because he's like, I know that it's true because you have three other partners in the room telling me the same thing. So either you all collaborated to lie to me (laughs) or it's actually true. He said, but you have a cornfield. How did you do this? And, you know, we just went through all the the work that we've been doing. So it's very neat. But so I guess I will uh, be corrected. I guess that the parade is economic development. It is. It is It's culture. It's community. It's wonderful. But um, but yeah, so we're excited. We're excited about that. Good. And um, That's the 30th, okay. correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, Living so. Local Fest, 30th, starts at 10 a.m. At 11 o'clock, we've got the parade. And then after, the Living Fest co- continues? Yeah, until 2 o'clock. And then okay. um, we'll be all going over to the Moose Lodge for a ski show. Ski shows, 2 o'clock, same day? Uh, or 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, three o'clock that same so, day. And Very I'll be getting the press release, yet. everybody. I promise okay. I'll be getting the press release out. I've been trying to train and get all this stuff done. I'm like, I apologize. So the ski show, um, by the way, um, last year I filmed it from a boat, waving up and down, trying to do the best I could. We're going to try and get that footage for you as well this year. So, be- But I want to encourage everybody to go out there. The bigger the crowd, the better the uh, tricks they do. Yeah, so. well, and then I think they're going to have vendors and some other things That's out great. there. I've been speaking with Bonnie Moss. Yes. She's great. So From she's, the Lake Manitoba Association. She's one of our partners yeah, as well. Okay. We've been trying to make sure that we collaborate together to create a fun day in Fulton County. Great. So we're excited. But 
going back to the chamber stuff, I guess, yeah. you know, what the whole purpose and, and one of the reasons why we're here is because of the business spotlight. Yes. But I just want to highlight, you know, it's very neat and I'm, I'm very excited this year specifically. Um, Karen McCoy, who's the vice president of the chamber board, she's from NIPSCO. Okay. Um, she suggested to Chris and myself that we do a strategic planning session. Great. And uh, that is so exciting because of the fact that it's things like this new program, mm -hmm. um, our business spotlight for the bronze sponsorship, which mm -hmm. Chris happens to be that. And so this will be another benefit. Mm -hmm. But as you're looking at that strategic planning, the whole point of that is, is what we're doing working, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's an analysis and assessment of where you're at, and then a and where projection we're going. of where you're going. And Absolutely, where we're going. and it comes up with a solid business plan mm -hmm. on what the future of the chamber and the future of Fulton County looks like. Yeah, and it's so vital to to what we do on a daily basis mm -hmm. and keeping us focused and moving the right direction. Right, and it's not an easy task. Mm -hmm. First of all, you have to assimilate tons of information. Yeah, opinions as mm -hmm. well as true hard data. Mm -hmm. Then you have to come together and say, okay, this is what it looks like is happening. Mm -hmm. You have to analyze the data. Then you have to say, okay, what's next? Where are we going? Then you put a plan in place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's been something, it's been something I've been just anticipating. We haven't been able to do this because uh -huh. we've had to, you know, uh, bring the Rochester Downtown Partnership to, sure. you know, its own to launch that. Yep. And then hopefully this year, knock on wood, um, with the Trailhead building, we'll mm -hmm. launch tourism. Um, and trailhead then, at the Nickel Plate mm -hmm, Trail. Uh, that, they're yep. extending that and putting a trailhead in there. And Very then good. so tourism will move there. So 2019, and I have been waiting for 2019 since 2015. <laughs> <laughs> I would say this to Kelly Whiteman Snipes, and she would be like, oh my gosh, you're stressing me out. I was like, so in 2015, we're going to do this. 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. She's like, I'm not even sure I'm going to do like in five minutes. Uh -huh. And I'm like, well, but for me, I mean, I want 2019 because I could see that yeah. that's like how long it would take you have to look at, okay, the political situations and all of that. And mm -hmm. when is this going to, how are we going to launch this and mm -hmm. when can that happen? And so... In my mind, I thought, okay, I wanted it to be 2018, but I was willing to switch it to 2019 because, <laughs> you know, I thought to myself, like, I move things, I always want it done yesterday. Right, right. Um, so now we're at that dream moment, and it's really crazy to think about. You know, I've been dreaming for this for as long as I have mm -hmm. been sitting in that seat, mm -hmm. and so I'm pretty geeked about it. Yeah. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to, that's my thing, strategic planning, mm -hmm. thinking about plans, and I always say, let's you know, plan the work, work the plan, plan the work, work the plan. I say that to RDP all the time mm -hmm. um, because it's how you keep focused. Yes, ma'am. And I haven't been able to do the chamber, per se, mm -hmm. justice because I've had to do all the other stuff. Sure. So now with this, this opportunity will give us the opportunity to focus solely on what the chamber was born uh -huh. to be yeah. um, and to build out things like the bronze sponsorship yeah. with the business spotlight. Right. And then be able to have this benefit because what our goal is is to provide more opportunities for members so we have more members mm -hmm. so we're doing what we were destined to do yeah. Yeah. um there's a snowballing effect as it well. is Absolutely. and we've been working do, hard and we've been you know fighting a lot of battles that are good and you know rule battles and things that are necessary um but we've had good partners mm -hmm. we've had Good We've leaders. had great partners. Mm. Oh, we, we really are have. so blessed. People stepping up, the pillars in the community oh and others. I mean, it's really across the board, folks mm -hmm. stepping up to do things. It's been it's been a uh, it's been a great experience to work with all of these people. Great. So great. Yeah, we have a really neat board. I feel like we've created a really excellent team. Great. Um, Chris has really helped. Stacy Wilson helped last year. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, without the two of them and, and without Karen, I would not have been able to. And Gloria, I mean, each one of my board members, I feel very um, blessed to have them and their unique personalities. That's mm -hmm. been the favorite part for me is mm -hmm. to, to learn their unique personalities and where can I um, partner with them to help all of us. Right. What, what are they skilled with? Right. Is it detail orientation? Is it contracts with Gloria? It helps me with contracts all the time mm -hmm. to make sure she reads them front and back, all those things. Yeah. You know, Chris, with being able to be strong and steady and, and mm -hmm. um, to speak things that need to be spoken. Everybody has something you know. to offer. It was Everybody. Really, it was really nice. We did a chamber retreat a few months ago. Nice. And we had the strengths people come in, and we, we did uh, about a 45-minute survey online. And all of the chamber... Uh, board of directors did this strengths and we figured out what everybody's strengths were. That's so great. 
we could kind of lean on each other mm -hmm. where our strengths are. Absolutely, um, that's great. And, and that's been vital. It's yeah. been it's been a really good experience. So board so. development as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that days. was yeah. And so it's fun every every day when you cut or every month when you come into the chamber board meeting, you've got your little name tag with your star, <laughs> which tells basically half the room is relational and half of them are executors. Excellent. And actually, I'm an executor. He's relational. So mm -hmm. that's funny. You know, we've got 50 50. Uh -huh. um, and so uh, and the woman who gave us the test just said, this is the weirdest mix of people. <laughs> she said, how do you guys get along so well? She goes, you're either like, make, you're, you're snowing me right now because this does not, this should not be as like cohesive as it is. Or you guys are just, you know, an anomaly in the way that That's you neat. work with each other's strengths and weaknesses. So it's been neat. And then we'll have a networking 101 class mm -hmm. coming up. That's great. Um, using that strengths to teach us how to build business and to network with each other and with others. And, and Just keep it up. That's all I ask. You guys are moving in the right direction. And We're lean on us here at RTC see about uh, anything we can do to help promote the event you're doing if you need volunteers if you know you've got a I don't have to I don't have, the one thing I never have to do is publicize these legislative breakfasts mm. um, <laughs> I've we filmed a couple over the years but I will tell you folks Fulton County Indiana is well known to get them out in droves at seven o'clock in the morning to listen about politics I think it's and the donuts it, it must be I actually got <laughs> I, I actually got a letter um, thanking us for our legislative breakfast and the job that Amy does and the chamber does. Excellent. Um, they said that the, the turnout at our legislative breakfast are some of the best turnouts Absolutely. in the state of Indiana. They really, really so, are. And, and that's, I think that's a, uh, that says a lot about, about what the chamber's doing um, with getting our legislators here sure. and with the format. But it also says a lot about Fulton County. It does. And, and the community mm -hmm. and, and the fact that the community comes out and, and backs all of these programs. Yes. And that's the most important part. We can't do this without the people of right. Fulton County. And you're engaged. That's the thing is you're not only um, showing up, but you're engaged when you're at those meetings. You're informed. You're asking questions pertinent not only to what's happening in Fulton County, but in general to the state of Indiana. And I think that uh, that level of engagement is pretty rare commodity. So, well, and the respect. I think that that's what people forget. I think the reason that the legislators like to come, as I always say to people, I encourage healthy debate. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think yeah. it's fun, but it has to be respectful. Amen. And so, in my house, our house, we're going to be respectful, mm -hmm. because that's one of the things that I heard the legislators say is that who wants to come to an event where people are just bashing you all right, the time? Right. 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 I mean, not everyone agrees with all the decisions right. they make, and sometimes the decisions may not be whatever. That's the wonderful thing about the United States, though, is we don't have to agree. We don't, right. but I do believe that we have to be respectful, and Absolutely. I do believe that that's why people love to come, because mm -hmm. we are engaged, yes. but we anticipate that everyone's going to be engaged in a respectful manner. Absolutely. Respectful debate, yep. you know, and that is what encourages Then They want to listen, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we're actually asking to be right. part of the solution, and we're respecting and honoring each other mm -hmm. uh, in a way that makes people want to open up. And sure. that's where um, I've heard from the guys as well that they love that, that that's one of the things because Mama Ro just says, we're going to be respectful, you know, <laughs> and, and we all expect that. And, and that's how it should it's be. It's fun. It's, our our yeah. secret's getting out about uh, how great Fulton County is and the people of Fulton yeah, County are. No, so. it really is. Good things happening. Well, uh, great things at the Chamber. We'll talk a little bit more next month about the specifics of the parade mm -hmm. and the festival. Mm -hmm. We've got time before the 30th to get mm -hmm. you back in here. Let's kind of turn the table over here to Mike Anderson. Mm -hmm. Now, Mike Anderson is, what are you offering down there? You've got Jeep. We've got Chrysler, Dodge, okay. Jeep, and Ram are the four name Chrysler, plates Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. of Mike Anderson in Rochester. And Mike Anderson Auto Group as a whole yeah. um, offers GM products as well. Okay. Um, we've got used car standalone stores. Okay. Um, so, I mean, pre-owned vehicles at any one point in time within the auto group. If we don't have what you're looking for at the Rochester location, can we call. can, I mean, we've got six, seven, eight hundred wow. used vehicles really? or pre-owned vehicles to at our disposal at That's all times. That's amazing. Now, you've got, you've got the Rochester. Mm -hmm. um, they're also in Plymouth. Are they in Plymouth? We have a, we have a used car location in okay. Plymouth. We have a used car location in Kokomo. Wow. We have a Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram store in Logansport, okay. a GM store in Logansport, okay. a GM store in Gas City, wow. a Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram store the in Marion, oh, and as well. then a heavy-duty truck location in Marion as well. Wow. Uh, we have a, a GM store in Ossian, 
Ossian, where's Ossian? No Ossian's just south of Fort Wayne. Okay. It's just on the outskirts of Fort okay. Wayne. Okay. Um, and then we have a General Motors store in Merrillville, which last month was just named the number one GM store in the state of Indiana. Holy cow. Um, and then we also have a GM location in Chicago. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This guy, I'll tell you what. So you guys are everywhere. Now, how about you? Where'd you kind of cut your teeth in the group? Where I cut my teeth in the group, I was I was uh, brought to the Logan Sport location okay. at the Chrysler store to be their sales manager. Okay. Um, about a year after I started, Mike got me into a program with Chrysler called the Future Dealer Development Program. Okay. And it and it trains somebody how to run a store from front to back. My oh. my experience in in the car business was always in sales. Mm -hmm. So we call that the front of the house. If yeah, you will. the front of the house. <laughs> so you know, service and parts, um, the accounting side of things, mm -hmm. the the financial statement, the books. That was all pretty new to me. Okay. Um, so it was a it was a program where I went up to Pontiac, uh, Pontiac, Michigan, just outside of Detroit, uh -huh. um, to Chrysler headquarters. And we went about every six weeks for a week at a time for about an 18-month period. Wow, that's a um, lot of travel. It was pretty intensive training, wow. um, but it was a it was a wonderful program. Good. And uh, and then I came up and, and took over the Rochester location here just a little okay. over three years ago. Great. So. Well, uh, I can't. I can tell you that I can't take my teenager past your lot without him commenting on one of the Jeeps you have out there all the time. You've always got a nice blend out there of some really cutting edge and nice style absolutely. vehicles. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, of course, um, Mike Anderson's located at the corner of 14 and 25 South, mm -hmm. um, yeah. on the towards the south end of Rochester. About how many cars do you have on that lot specifically? On that lot specifically, we run anywhere from 150 to 170 wow. cars. That's 170 um, cars to choose from at any moment they <laughs> pop on the lot. That's yeah, impressive. Absolutely, and that's that's new and pre-owned. Yeah. Um, we also we also own our own finance company. Okay, that's so important. Listen, we, we can help anybody yeah. with financing. Yeah. Um, you can almost guarantee financing. Just right? about. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. There there may be some stipulations to yeah. that financing. Um, but w w we can help you get a car, and it and it's our credit rebuilding program. Yes. So if you've been down on your luck, if you've had some hard times, mm -hmm. we can help you rebuild that. It's important, folks. Um, you know, we, we've all had a blemish or something come across, whether it's, um, you know, whatever it might be in your life that has happened that has kind of turned your credit the other way. These type of programs, when you work with local folks like this, yeah, you may have to put a little bit more money down. Yeah, you may pay a little bit more rate, but they'll work with you and they'll be fair with you and put it within your range. But what you'll get at the other end of that is I, I, I've a cleaner seen people, credit. I've seen people come in yeah. that didn't qualify for financing and went into our, our credit rebuilding program. Yeah. And I've watched them blossom and bloom and be able to come in and pick out their brand new car. And it, it's a wonderful thing. It feeling. really is. Absolutely. And, and we, we understand that they, they want to sell you a car, but there's heart to it. And you're hearing that right now from Chris is that it really, truly, sincerely makes them feel good when they see you coming back in after going through their credit rebuilding program and purchasing your brand new Chrysler Jeep yeah, brand. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it, it's great to, I, you know, I've always told people I have the easiest job in the world. I get to help somebody look, uh, find something that they're already looking for, yeah. and I get to make a friend. Yes. And that's important, yeah. especially in a small community. Sure. Um, you know, I, I want people to be on a first-name basis mm -hmm. when they come into my store. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, you know, we talk about this all the time. You look to the big cities. Oh, I'm going to Indy because mm -hmm. they've got more cars. Well, we live in a day and age where your deals, their deals down in Indy aren't going to be that much better than the deals up here, and they can make a friend and have local service, and, you know, it's all right here, and save yourself yeah. the trip. Yeah. We give we give loaner vehicles when you're down for service work. You're not going to be without wheels. We really value the relationships with our customers. Yeah. They're part of the Mike Anderson family, and that That's means great. a lot. That's great. So. Now, this guy's uh, been involved in something over the past few years, and I haven't been able to get my cameras on it yet, but one of these years we'll get it. Talk to us about what you do with the football players and the polls out there. We we have an annual event every September. September, I'll remember that. And it's the it's the annual Mike Anderson truck poll. So we bring local area football teams uh -huh. uh, to the Mike Anderson lot, and w we allow them to bring nine players. Okay. And they have three polls. And the average time, the average best time, will get X amount of dollars. Okay. Second place will get some money. Third place will get some money. Everybody goes back with money for right. 
their their football program. And essentially, three players pull a one-ton dually <laughs> diesel. Holy cow. My God. Know, and right? then the other six players go into the bed of the truck. So there's some strategy there, too. You can't, <laughs> you can't put your biggest right. players <laughs> in front of the truck because your smaller players are going to be pulling those biggest players yeah. the next two poles. That's oh hilarious. My so it's, it's really a fun day. We cook for our customers. We do a lot of events at the dealership. That's we do great. a lot of cookouts and customer appreciation because, let's face it, we wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for the folks of Fulton County and surrounding areas coming and and being a part of the Mike Anderson family. I appreciate so. you saying that, and I appreciate what you're doing out there. And, uh, again, folks, it goes back to the core of who we are. You can put up your sign, and you can bring in the cars, and you can just stamp approved or declined and move on with your day Absolutely. and make your money, or you can be a part of the community. And, and it's very important, you know, since the early 80s when Mike came in to – uh, and, and and bought his first dealership, which was the Logan GM store okay. in Logan Sport. Okay. Um, his his model has always been being a huge part of every community great. that he's in, and giving back to every community that he's in. That's great. And that that just shows you what kind of a guy Mike Anderson sure, is. Sure, sure. Yeah, it's so, coming from the top. Absolutely. And he set the character for the entire dealership and the and the group. So that's fantastic. Absolutely. Fantastic. Now, uh, some great events happening at Mike Anderson. We're not going to give you details just because we don't want you to watch this in a week and miss out on something. But, uh, you know, be checking the newspaper, check on your website, call the dealership. You've got some Absolutely. great events coming up. And, and go, go on and like our Mike Anderson Facebook page. Okay, Mike good. Anderson Rochester has our, our Facebook page. We're always posting videos. We're, we're, we're updating that Facebook page with events. We try to have an event, at least one event every month. Okay, wow. Um, and, and those may involve cookouts for our customers and customer appreciation days. They may involve Jeep events, the, the truck pull. Uh -huh. um, we've had the, the Rochester soccer team out there. We've had car washes. <laughs> I love, it. I love um, it. We really try to, again, get involved with Facebook the community. Facebook probably the best way? Facebook is going to be okay. the most up-to-date up way. Up-to-date. So let's go um, there again. That's Mike Anderson Rochester. Mike Anderson Rochester okay. Facebook page. Excellent. Absolutely. Tune in there for sure. Well, uh, Chris, I really appreciate what you're doing for the chamber. Uh, Amy's Sweet. spoken well of you. Um, even off camera, Amy's spoken well of you. <laughs> but uh, you're bringing some leadership up there. You're wrangling cats a lot of the times, and I understand that. But uh, you guys just keep up the great work. Keep up the great work down at Mike Anderson's. Thanks for being such a great part of the community. And I want to encourage everybody, you know, I can't say this enough. I say it weekly on the air here, support local. They're the ones paying your tax base. We're the ones taking care of, of what you need in your community. You know, the schools and the roads and the potholes and the protection and all of it comes out of your local tax base. Let's support the local folks. Mike Anderson right here in Rochester. If you're a business owner and not a chamber uh, member, I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to admonish you right here on the air and tell you you need to be. It does great things for you. The tools that Amy and, uh, you, by the way, we should talk about your new assistant here in a moment, but Amy and the staff over there will do for you. They want your business to succeed. They don't want to find out that you're going out of business and get a call at the last minute about a fire or liquidation sale. <laughs> they want to be there in the early stages to help you succeed from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. But let's talk really quick before I close. You have a new assistant. I let's do. give her a plug I here. I do. So, Allison, okay. I think that um, I asked Tom about it today, and uh -huh. he said I could bring her um, to the radio show. Okay. She doesn't know this yet. <laughs> I haven't said it. Unless, she was, unless she was listening. I don't know. But um, she's going to be on the radio with me next okay. month. Great. But she was one of those uh, rare finds. Mm -hmm. So, Beth, which was great kelly yeah, was great yeah. but um we keep launching people which yes. is great that's you keep the improving point. them and they go on yeah to that's and the whole point it's, it's <laughs> you know moving folks to success but with uh beth it was such a sweet opportunity mm -hmm. bittersweet mm -hmm. um, tell, tell everybody where beth has gone beth was the assistant at the chamber of commerce and now she's risen to a new position in yeah, yeah. so it's so great but um and i, I i'd say this in jest it was funny this is kind of the way we felt about it john Kraft, who's the treasurer yes. um ceo or cfo of the hospital mm -hmm. so comes into the executive board meeting a couple months ago and says i have two words for you he says this to beth traitor and congratulations <laughs> um but <laughs> it was it was a, a quick move because mm -hmm. she had been doing a PTO mm -hmm. and uh, she had been eyed by somebody mm -hmm. as a potential candidate mm -hmm. for an open position. Okay. And I was on vacation <laughs> living my life. And I come back 
you know, rested for the most part right. uh, from a vacation. And uh, I find out, you know, that, that this opportunity came open for her. And so when we spoke about it, um, it was just a, a no brainer, gotcha. you know, and she, she looked at us and she says, well, you guys did this to, uh, to me, We're very proud of you know, because <laughs> she's like, you made me go to all these classes and professional development stuff. And she's like, but we are so proud because yeah. the position at the chamber gave her the opportunity mm -hmm. to transition from one style of work to now this opportunity right. that will provide for her family. Yeah. She will be even more successful and uh, family will be. Uh, brought to another level mm -hmm. because of, of the opportunity that it's we had. It's Junior Achievement, correct? Yes. Junior Achievement. So yeah. Executive Director, uh, Regional? Regional Director okay. of a uh, few counties. I can't remember okay. all the counties. Regional but. Director mm -hmm. for Junior Achievement. Yeah. Beth, we want to congratulate you on that. Uh, and then Allison. Allison. So Chris um, and I were trying to figure out. I called Chris instantly and said, uh, I'm back from vacation <laughs> and the Executive <laughs> Assistant's not going to be with us. And he's like, what? You know, and he's like, is there ever a dull moment in your life? And I'm like, I don't think so. Wow. So then we were trying to, because I needed them like that. Sure. You know, I had like one week to interview. Yep. Um, and so there's all these normal uh, moments of advertising that you would do. Mm -hmm. But this is like, this is a 911 mm -hmm. moment. I got to figure out what's the fastest. And so um, Chris had used Indeed, which mm -hmm. I had never done that. Mm -hmm. So on Friday sitting on my mother's uh, patio, eating pizza and drinking a glass of wine. I tried to figure out this Indeed thing. I think I had to text Chris a couple of times to be like, I think I don't know where that thing is, that button. What am I supposed to do? Because I don't know how to do that sure, stuff. Sure. That's what Beck did, and now that's what Allison does. Uh, but, so I put it on there, and then I thought, I'm going to drop everything because mm -hmm. I'm exhausted. I'm going to pick it back up on Sunday. It's what I usually do. Mm -hmm. Picked it up. I had like 19 applications. Wow. So dropped it for one more you know, afternoon. Picked mm -hmm. it up Monday morning at like 6 a.m., I had 31 applications. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then I had to put the job on pause because I thought, oh my gosh, I don't think I can maneuver through right, all those. Right, you have to navigate through yeah, those. Yeah, but long story short, I had a few interviews and um, Allison's resume came over through my desk and I thought... It was a standout. Is this like too good to be true mm -hmm. or is this... Mm -hmm. Am I so tired that I'm not seeing this accurately or is this like... A, you know, a moment from the main upstairs that just dropped something yep. that I needed so that we needed mm -hmm. so badly. So I interviewed her and I was like, I feel like she's great. And then we did a second interview. Mm -hmm. I did it with Karen and I had Karen, you know, uh, she's a former chamber director. Mm -hmm. So I was like, can you just make sure that I'm not missing something? Um, and she was like, how, where did we find her? <laughs> I was like, That's so, great. What a blessing, Yeah, right? so she's got an MBA. <laughs> Let's and, call it what it is. Um, it's a blessing. And she, Yep, it's a true blessing. So she... Um, What's Allison's last name? Clausen. So Allison yeah. Clausen, we want to welcome you yeah. uh, officially here. And uh, we want to uh, encourage you to stay at this a long time. Uh, she will. Actually, that's what she told me. She said, I'm tired of changing jobs. She said, I oh, think that great. I like this enough that I'll be here for as long, you know, for basically ever. Right. So she, her family moved here. So wow, I great. actually heard the story. We had a second, we took lunch yesterday. Okay. So we've been like on like Donkey Kong. I mean, go, go, go. The computer's broken. Like it's just crazy things. So we haven't even, I haven't really spoken. I've been probably more like a drill sergeant. Like, right. gotta get this right. done. Gotta get this done. The task Amy came out. Go, 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 go. Don't scare her off. Yeah. No, like, and I'm trying to be as equally like, you know, sweet and Right, right. You know, like, but finally yesterday I said, why don't we go to lunch Good and sit down and, and really yeah. get to know mm -hmm. each other yeah. for a second. So uh, we sat down and her, hearing her story was really neat yeah. how she got here. I'll let her tell her story. But um, she actually had just started looking for a job. Oh, wow. Just then. Like, that's the thing is like, that's what I learned yesterday yeah. is that she had just determined that she wanted it, um, to be able to have a job. And then she said, and this came up and she goes, this is too good to be true. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what she said, and we felt the same way. So I think it's a match made in heaven. I love it. We're very excited. We're very excited about what her unique skill set mm -hmm. will uh, provide. Mm -hmm. She's done a lot of events. Um, she's great. worked with a lot of different people. Um, and as we you know, move forward with the benefits for the membership, mm -hmm. you know, bronze sponsorship, people hopefully will start seeing tangibly sure. the benefits Absolutely. of that tool, Absolutely. of the different levels, and start being more interested in, in pursuing um, understanding that. Yeah. So as we have great partners who continue to add benefits, because we we're it. only as Absolutely. good as the, you know, the additional partners that we have, which help to multiply the message of the chamber. So well, we love local business. We love um, local volunteers. We, we just, we want to, what do we do? We, we show you hyper local coverage of what's happening in Rochester, mm -hmm. Indiana. We don't do a lot of news, but we do interviews and we show the ball games and the kindergarten concerts mm -hmm. and 
we're getting pretty good at it, and I hopefully you're stuff. enjoying it there. But and thank it, you for the highlight it, about Corbin. Oh, that was an awesome highlight. Wasn't that fun? Yeah, best catch. Yeah. I've been doing this a decade, and bobble, 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 catch. That was impressive. So I wanted to I wanted to take a moment and from two different levels mm -hmm. send out a really heartfelt thank you to all of the community of Fulton County and surrounding areas okay. from from Mike Anderson and as the president of the chamber, mm -hmm. there's great things going on in this community. We sure are. They're so, are. Proud. We and, should have and, some pride. And we couldn't do it without every single yeah. person that supports Fulton County. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well said, sir. Well, uh, I want to thank these guys for being here. You've got Amy Rowe, your executive director of your Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Wood from uh, Mike Anderson's, and uh, also the chamber president. So get down to Mike Anderson's. They've got great selection. Absolutely. They take great care of you. You've got a great sales staff down there, service staff down there. Certainly. Let's talk about the bookkeepers. They keep you honest and straight. So your ladies. I've, I've really got a there. great staff mm -hmm. from front to back of building. Excellent. So excellent. Well, stop down and see him. If you're a business owner, get in, talk to Amy, see what they can do to help you in your business. For now, I'm Scott Sager here on RTC TV. We'll catch you next time right here. Thanks again for watching.